So who fell in love with you for you to be uh, in the new Top Gun? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I got really, really lucky. There's this amazing uh, casting director here. She's one of the greats. Her name is Denise Chamin. She called me in for it. And I went straight to the director. His name is Joseph Kaczynski, who's a G. Uh, This dude's mind is brilliant. He's a former architect who became a director. So, like, already you can see, like, his mind is just working on such a big, like, playground and um, directed Oblivion with Tom. He directed this movie called Only the Brave. He directed Tron. And I uh, I walked in, I did my audition. He laughed and he was like, let's do it one more time. And he gave me a note and we did it. And he was like, yeah, that's good. That's great, that's good. And I was like, oh shit, that's one of those like, you're not, it's not you, good. It, it felt like it was one like of those you like- you were like, good as in yeah. I'm in it or yeah. good as in like, yeah. all right. It's one of those things like, yeah, thanks for coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was like, wait, what? Well, uh, yeah, 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 one of those. Okay. And then I walked out and uh, one of my castmates was actually, went right after me. Um, and it was the first time we met was in the lobby just before I went in. But he went right after me and I was like, yo, good luck, man. Um, I hope, <laughs> hope your reading goes better than mine. And I walked out and I was like, I'm tripping. My reading was fine. Like he laughed. He gave me a note. He didn't have to do that. If he didn't care, he wouldn't have did that. And uh, I think the next day, one of my agents called me and was like, Tom Cruise is going to watch your tape. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, they're sending your tape to Tom. And I was like, I don't even know. Like, Tom Cruise has email? Like, what is that even? Like, <laughs> he's not email himself? Like, what does that even mean? It's probably some shit like Tom Cruise at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just like blown away that they were sending this to him to watch. Not And not because they were sending it to him to watch. But the means of how he was actually going to get it. I was so caught up on, like, does Tom Cruise really have email? Like, that's what I was really tripping off. Like, are they texting it to him? Or are they sending him a DVD? Like, um, and so that was on, like, a Wednesday. And he watched the tape. I, by Monday, I had the job. So I'm assuming he watched it over the weekend. And I got a phone call that I got the job. Wow. The whole team called me. And they were like, hey, you sitting down? I was like, I'm actually driving down to 405 right now. Because I was in the middle of remodeling a house, and I was like, I'm driving down to 405 right now to a plumbing store, and they were like, Well, you book Top Gun, so buy the whole store. And I was like, What? <laughs> like, I just, I lost it, man. It was crazy. It was insane. Um, so please tell us that they ain't gonna play you like they did the other brother in the original <laughs> Sundown. How you gonna have a, the one black character? His his call signal is Sundown. <laughs> no, mine is Payback. Okay. Um. And there's a couple of us. There's a there's a dude named uh Ooh, they have more than one. There's a there's a Look couple of us. We got some representation. Coming in the into movie. 2020. We got some representation right. in the movie. It's a really it's it's uh I think that was really important to like to Tom, to Joe, to Bruckheimer, uh, who's back, you know what I'm saying, They're like producing this thing 35 years later, like and then to Paramount. And so we have a really diverse cast, which is super dope. Like, oh, so um Tom Cruise about 127, um, and so I mean he is like he out there doing mission. The fact that he does his own stunts is preposterous. Did it's you crazy. see him do anything crazy on set? Well, not on set, but you definitely like you know the really cool thing about working with Tom is like he really he was very giving. Like at, at and I don't know that you would have that same experience with someone who's had a 40 year career as being the man like Tom, right? Like he was insanely kind with his time, with stories. If you were like, yo, tell me how you booked A Few Good Men. Tell me how you booked Taps, like whatever it is, right? And like, he would sit there and talk to you, talk you through the whole story. And like, remember it like it was yesterday. Like Mm -hmm. that's what's even more crazy is like the way he would recall names and the room that he was in and where the office was in LA when he went, you know what I mean? And and he would talk you through all those things. And just as a, as a filmmaker, I think he became kind of a mentor to all of us because he was always like, you know, we're using this lens and this is the reason that we're using it. And we're, you know, we're, uh, we're shooting this in this way for this reason. Um, and that was really special. Like, I feel like you don't, you don't get that that often, it, but there was no, there were no stunts that he had to do. Because he's an instructor, I believe, in this one. Uh, he, yes, he comes okay. back to teach a class. He comes yeah. back to teach her. Yeah. Um, I mean, but is there a part of you, and I don't know, I mean, you, it's not like this is the first time you've been on a set with, you know, obviously famous people, but is, because of the magnitude of his career, does it 
do you find yourself having moments, maybe when you guys first started shooting, where you're like, oh, shit, I'm on set with Tom Cruise. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I still remember the, the, the table read that we did was the craziest thing. I remember we were doing a table read at Jerry Bruckheimer's office, and we were all inside already, and through these doors, you see a red... And through these doors, you see a motorcycle pull up. <laughs> and Oh, he uh, out there for real. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see a motorcycle pull up and the door opens and he, and like the dude takes the helmet off and it's time and it's like the sun is like perfectly the wind like, machine yeah, hit him. The sun like... is perfectly at like 5 30, so he got that glow on him. You know what I'm saying? It's a breeze coming from Santa Monica from off the water all of a sudden. Like it was literally like it was like somebody was shooting it. And he did it like all in like one motion, like took the, the helmet off with the left, put the glasses on with the right, said hi to three or four people, knew every single person's name, walked in and was like, hey guys, what's up? And then literally just walked up to each one of us and introduced himself like we didn't know who he was. Was he like, hey, my name is Tom? Yeah. <laughs> Tom, hey, nice to meet you. And you're like, yeah, I, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, I know. <laughs> I got you. But it was like, you know, when we actually started filming, yeah, you're, you're like, okay, so what is he doing? That's what he's doing. Okay, okay. You're sort of studying. Yeah, you're like, kind of studying. You're like, well, yeah. why is he doing that? Is there, a, what's he thinking about? And then you realize that you're in a scene with him and you're like, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, yes, Maverick. Like, you, you know what I mean? You realize that you're acting too. You completely forget that you are in the scene. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it's definitely like, it now it feels different because now it's been over a year that we've had this working relationship. So that, that feels very, very different. Like, he, he definitely feels like, uh, uh, someone that I would call and text and email for a various amount of reasons. Because you got to have an email now, because since that's out. Now I know it's <laughs> Now real. you know emails, but right? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, um, there is still some of those moments where you're like, yo, that was Tom Cruise, man. That was Tom Cruise. That's TC. See, my courty ass, I'd be tempted to be like, you want answers? <laughs> I want the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, his career is, it's amazing that he's yeah. been able to particularly stay in the action lane for as long yeah. as as he has, um, you know, it, not that you would have turned the role down, but it, you have any reservations or reluctance or anxiety about the fact that I know Tom Cruise is is in this new version of Top Gun, right. but it is messing with a, a movie that a lot of people really love. No, because I think when you get to know him and you get to talk to him about it, I think this is thirty five years, right? He could have made this movie after year one. Right. He could have made this movie after year five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And, and he'll tell you, you know, he wanted it to be right. And like he said no for a reason. And he waited for so long for a reason. It was for him is because the story was never right. And he felt like this was the right story. And then when you sit there and you think about that and you think about his career and you think about all the things that he's done and you go, he's made some pretty great damn movies. So for him to say that means that he's not just going to do anything because you can truly say, oh, he has an amazing body of work and he said no for so long, right? And then he chose to do this thing and 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 redo Top Gun or, or do a sequel to Top Gun uh, because the story was truly right and you believe it, you know? It's just one of those things that you're like, yeah, I believe it because I can literally see the proof. Mm-hmm. Like you can see all the movies and all the work and all the heart, you know? the blood, sweat, and tears that he's put into every single project. 